If you hadn't come along when you did, I don't know what might have happened. It was the least I could do. Anyone would have done the same. But you didn't have to help. You could have run right by. My library isn't far from here. I was closing everything up for the day when I heard the fighting in the streets. I barred the doors and then squeezed through the back window to escape. But I'll have to come up with something more exciting when I write my official account, won't I? Enough discipline. discipline. I am too low on discipline. Your fear betrays you! Discipline. Vengeance! I am too low on discipline. That is impossible. Hatred is too low. enough discipline.
I need more discipline. Feel my wrath. Not enough discipline. Too low on discipline. need more discipline. will overburden me. I am returning to town. I can't carry anymore. I know that the have sided against Malthea. Best service in Westmoor. for a potion. Is there someone there? Help us, please!
awaits you. Not enough hatred. It is done. The bloodline of Rakis will once again sit on the throne of Westmarch. That would be you, I presume? My grandmother was the daughter of Coralon, but he would not claim her because she was born of a courtesan, not a queen. With the peasants supporting me, Westmarch will become a place of freedom and equality. The idle rich will be no more. Of course, there will be some bloodshed. We must make a few examples, consolidate our power, a small price to pay. The people of Westmarch have already paid too much. I won't let you do this. I have spent my whole life preparing for this day, Hunter. enough discipline. Master has begun his work on the stone. Nothing that you do matters. Soon, demons spawn like you will be gone forever. You will die for what you've done. The demon spawn shall perish in flames. My pack is full. is too heavy.
I am returning to town. Urziel has fallen. The Reapers will not be able to hold the city without him. You have saved Westmarch, my friend. But we still don't know why Malthael took the stone. He's getting stronger every moment, and our time is running out. That strange woman you brought here believes she can help. She insisted on speaking with you immediately. General. The king is dead. I'd heard rumors, but I hoped. I didn't really care for the king at first, but he turned into a good ruler. Hadn't been himself lately, though. The last of his trusted advisors died recently. Hit him hard, it did. He would have recovered eventually. Now, he'll never get the chance. Sheldor, I know how to find Malthael, but you will not like what I have to tell you. What a surprise. There is only one person who knows how to find Malthael. She waits for you in the Blood Marsh, and you know her well. Adria. At last. Adria is not as you remember her. She is channeling blood magic to prepare herself to retrieve the Black Soul Stone. What does that mean? Some things cannot be explained. You must see them for yourself. Why do I talk to you again? You have no sense of adventure. What else can I tell you? I had a vision of death blanketing our world. So I left my people, my family, to come help you. That must have been quite the burden. Nonsense. We veteran often receive visions telling us when it is time to find a new family. I've had many in my life. I still love and miss each and every one of them. Except for Jonah. I never really liked that one. You are a most unusual traveler, Miriam. Oh, I could tell you stories. Our wagon train came to a dying village once. The people threw rocks and jeered. There was only one poor family who welcomed us. I charmed my way into the mayor's office and told him that his village would soon be wealthier than he could imagine. Ah, uh, he threw me out. He thought I was trying to rob him. Well, my vision showed me where the gold deposits were. But not who would find them. So I told the family who had shown us kindness where to dig. They are quite wealthy now. I wonder if we could sell wigs made from your hair. That is enough, Harold! If we survive this nightmare, I am leaving for my parents' estate in Bramwell. That's a grand idea, dearest. Your father has more than enough money to... Follow me, and I will tie you naked to a tree for the crows. Maybe then you'll finally think of something other than money.
Azazel is slain, Westmarch is saved, and yet these thoughts weigh constantly upon me. I know the feeling. We have given Westmarch peace, but nothing will replace what its people have lost. Wise words, my friend. Still, we must keep going forward. Your persistence has taught me that much. Your angelic brethren haven't come to help us. What a surprise. There is confusion and dissension in the High Heavens. You must remember, Malfail was our leader once. But you're on the Angiris Council. Shouldn't that give you power over the armies of Heaven? Imperius commands the host, and he will not unleash them on a fellow angel, especially a former member of the Angiris Council. Of course. He prefers to see humans die rather than angels. It's a relief that Malthael spared you in the Tomb of Rakis, but I wonder why. I may be mortal, but I am not Nephilim. I have no demon blood in me, and therefore Malthael does not see me as his enemy. And I am? I have dedicated my life to killing demons. That is of no consequence. You are half-demon to him and therefore on the wrong side of the eternal conflict. Some angels are no better than demons. You look unwell. I have felt pain before, but nothing like this. It is different being mortal. The pain wears on you. There are two kinds of pain I found. One that heals, and one that does not. Why did Malthael take the Black Soul Stone? I have been thinking on that since our encounter. But every scenario I envision simply doesn't make sense. Regardless of what he has become. There must be something. He would not act without a reason. 